rocket stove deconstruction. This rocket stove has had several three, four hour burns in it, which were pretty good, um, all told. Um, I did mention in a previous video the fact that insulation only went up to there, and you can see the discoloration of the pipe. Now, that isn't just smoke. Um, it's very difficult to see in here. Let's try and tip this towards the sun. But you can possibly see, I'm trying my best here. You can possibly see a ring of discoloration down there as well that shows that it's burning differently. Um, I'm not sure if that's turning out. It shows it's burning differently at the top where it's not insulated. Uh, considering that this was just slung together and not sealed properly, it's done remarkably well. This was the bottom insulator, i.e. the one on the it bottom of the inside of the barrel, and you can see that that's discoloured differently too. If, if, if things were equal, this one would now be on the bottom and that one would be on the top. And that's what it would look like. There is another one that goes on. That goes on the bottom outside. Um, the little exhaust pipe just over here worked perfectly adequately. Yes, it did leak a little bit but not very much now the barrel the barrel itself was painted it was a food grade barrel you can see that there's discoloration in there where the burn tube goes up to which is slightly off center <coughs> and you can see that the rest of the barrel is pretty clean pretty clean there was very 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 little ash at all in here when it came into bits. One of the interesting things about this experiment is that the glass or rock wool household insulation that I used has actually turned to glass. Look, the temperature was hot enough to melt it and turn it into a glass like you can even see through it just about translucent anyway so it was burning hot and the real answer of course is that it's just not up to the job that which was in the flue itself that's going somewhat glass sign um, higher up the flue it's well, it's 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 forming, but it's it's not the same. It's it's like a hard candy floss. <coughs> well, today I'm looking at rebuilding this stove, and as I mentioned on a different video about the garden, it's going to go into service in this shed. It will be standing somewhere roughly there, and it will have its exhaust pipe coming out through and under and then off and through this bed which gets very little sun in the early part of the year and is always frozen so the ground is still somewhat hard here so that's the plan for it now mainly because it's a, a six inch flue and that six inch flue just isn't up to the job I googled some of the um, parameters for flues and going from a six inch which was 28 I think square inches of area burn to an eight inch you go up to 52 I believe it was 50 or 52 square inches so you double the size of your burn chamber that's got to make a big difference.
Rocket stove Mark 4. It's now in position where I want it. What you can see there is steam. There's very little smoke element to it. There's a bit, but very little smoke element. This brick enclosure, which supports the rocket stove, has been filled with earth. The earth is wet. It's damp. Well, when I say earth, it's, it's very shingly, shaly earth. There's, it's more, more like a sort of loose hardcore than earth. But because it's wet, it's steaming. And it's steaming. I'm in here. I'm in an enclosed space. My eyes aren't watering. So it's not smoke, it's not wood smoke. What, what we have here on the temperature gauge, and this is after about 10-15 minutes with the door closed, we're nearly at 60, I think you can see that there. Yeah, we're climbing towards 60 degrees at this end. I've led the flue away as far as I can, just basically under a, a piece of cover to get the flue to travel. Excuse me, I'm tripping over. What you can smell here is a bit of wood smoke. Definite wood smoke smell coming out of the end of there, but there's not a hell of a lot of it. Now, we're, what, 20 foot, 15, 18, 20 foot away from the rocket stove. And I don't know if you can see this, it's uh, a bit hard to see. But I'll actually go in this end of the gr greenhouse so that we can see it. You see, this is steam. This is steam. This is steam coming off. And at this end of the greenhouse, we have, what? 44? 44 degrees. The original temperature was a lot less than that. So we've got a good six degrees difference in well I suppose it's got to be at the moment it's got to be about an hour's burn now this is literally only to keep my bed warm that's the bed and that's where this flu will be run down when I've got the wherewithal to buy flu and it will come out at the other end similar to this setup come out the other end and it will be buried under the earth and it will heat this bed it will also heat the greenhouse and if I'm lucky if this does work and it's by far from finished yet but if this does work, the temperature in here is climbing quietly. It's just about 60 degrees now. If this works, I'm planning on taking a hole out of this wall and then putting a blower on here to blow some of the heat into an unheated area of the house but before then I'm going to have to take the earth out of there rebuild that properly fill it with vermiculite seal it all off get everything welded up 
so that there is no smoke leak at all nothing no smell there is a slight smell of wood, wood smoke in here but that's hide, hardly surprising <coughs> the burn tube is designed come in here quick what are you doing there's the missus go in there Did you hear her? She just said it's warmer there than the house. That's, that's, <laughs> that's not smoke. Oh. That's steam. Right. If it was smoke, your eyes would be watering, love. Oh, true. Yeah? And you'd be going, eh, eh, eh. It's 60 degrees on that temperature mm. gauge. There's the burn tube. The burn tube is designed to be outside so that any blowback of smoke will come outside the house and not pollute the plants etc etc which will be growing in there so that's the project it's taken me all day to do this but I'm I'm really relatively pleased I hope you enjoyed this short video and I'll be back with more Rocket Stove Mark IV, there it is, and watch this. That's a bit bubbling. Thank you, and good night.